The topic of today's short video is a Ukrainian MiG-29 shooting down a Russian drone. We're taking a look at that. My name is Max Willman. I'm a former fighter pilot for the Swedish Air Force and let's go. So we're heading over to Twitter. Uh, you can follow me at Max Willman if you're interested in these kinds of things. Uh, so what we're seeing right here is a HUD camera, so a head-up display a camera uh, filming into a Ukrainian MiG-29 that's about to shoot down to intercept a Russian UAV. Uh, so that's what we're taking a look at right now. Uh, so that's the video. So one more time, it's a short clip. We can see something happening there. It's probably because of the launch of the missile you see near the bottom. You see the hit and explosion there, and then uh, the pilot maneuvers to the left here. So uh, not much more than that in the clip. So at first, let's talk about a little bit what happens here. So this is a MiG-29 HUD. I'm not an expert in, <laughs> in MiG-29s by any means. Uh, and this is obviously filmed a little bit distorted, so we can see the actual numbers. But uh, up here is the airspeed uh, normally uh, in Russian planes uh, in uh, kilometers uh, per hour, I believe. And also you have the altitude in meters. And if you're flying low level, they usually go over to a radar uh, measured altimeter setting. So uh, we're probably seeing below 1000 meters uh, or yeah, uh, you can uh, add a, do a times three and you have it in feet. Uh, so. 3,000 feet is about uh, 1,000 meters approximately, uh, rounded off. Uh, so it looks like it's uh, three digit meters, so below 1,000 meters. Quite low, we also see the ground here in the bottom of the hood. Uh, and the speed here in kilometers per hour, uh, I believe, so not flying very, very fast here. And that is uh, quite common when you intercept the drones, because drones are flying extremely slow when compared to fighter jets. We can also see that the aircraft that he is piloting here uh, is uh, almost wings level. Uh, had you have different uh, um, here, uh, if it would have banked to any side, you would see that. And if you look at the end of the clip, you can see if it, that it banks to the left. Uh, here is the weapon chosen. I cannot read exactly what it is, but I believe it's a A11 or a R73. It's an IR missile. Uh, and the distance has fired uh, also uh, look like it could be that kind of missile. Uh, and rest is a bit blurred here, but you have information about how fast the target is traveling uh, and your your speed compared to target, etc. So uh, if we take a look, the missile flies off here. Uh, it hits the target there. So he's slightly above. And when he starts to bank, you can see here uh, that uh, the, that's what's happening in the hood. So uh, let's unpack this a little bit. So obviously uh, the aircraft being flown here is a MiG-29. Uh, this one is a Russian one, but uh, he was obviously flying a Ukrainian one. Uh, it's a uh, yeah, it's a Cold War era fighter, uh, quite old at this point, um, and uh, as you can see, the cockpit is not very very friendly uh, when it comes to human machine integration. Um, but it's still a potent plane. Uh, here it shows off uh, some of the weapons, and the weapon I believe was used here is one of these missiles, the R73 or A11, which is a, a IR missile uh, designed for short range. Uh, uh, yeah, within visual range, basically, uh, engagements. Uh, and the drone being shot down is according to open source uh, Orlan 10. So this is one of Russia's most, uh, uh, yeah, uh, numberful uh, when it comes to uh, SIGINT and, and uh, reconnaissance drones. Uh, and you can see a person standing next here, so you see the size of it. So it's quite a small drone, actually. Uh, of course, it's bigger than a Mavic 3 or something like that, but uh, it's it's probably on the limit of what you can acquire with uh, a fighter aircraft uh, and, and shoot down with these kinds of weapons. So how you would do this is that you would, would need to uh, basically uh, either by, by chance see this one. I don't think the MiG-29's radar is able to uh, lock on to such a small target, but it might be. Uh, so you probably would have to have uh, GCI ground control intercept uh, leading you to the intercept of this drone. Or if you have uh, some sort of other report from a visual report from someone on the ground that you have an oil in the area, and you can visually uh, search for it. Uh, and then, of course, the uh, fingerprint when it comes to IR, so the heat signature is obviously not that big either. So he probably needs to be quite close, which you can see in the clip that he's firing the missile very, very close to the target well within firing limits. It can usually fly uh, much further than that. 
so you need to be able to come in close and get a good tone, a good lock with your IR missile on the drone and then shoot it down. So uh, one of the biggest issues with these kinds of drones is to actually find them because they are so much smaller than, than other types of aircraft. And fighter jets obviously are designed from the beginning to search for other fighter jets mainly, so targets in that size. Uh, so exactly how this engagement uh, had come to pass, who found the drone and uh, led, led the MiG-29 to this, or if the MiG-29 just happened upon it, uh, the history does uh, not uh, say that. But uh, that's all I have for now. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up on the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow the channel. If you want to buy my coffee, you have the link below in the description as well. And give me a comment if you have anything else that you want me to react to. But that's all for now, and until next time, fly safe.